everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be doing an experiment where we change white flowers into colourful flowers. So to start off, I'm going to tell you what you need and then you must pause the video and then gather your stuff and then come back and watch the rest, okay? So we're going to need some food colouring. I've only got two colours, but you guys can use whatever colours you can find at home. If you've only got one colour, that's fine. It's up to you what you want to use. So I've got green and I've got red. Then the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some flowers. So I just went to the shops because I don't have flowers in my garden. I went to the shops and I bought a mixed bunch of flowers and I just pulled out the white ones. So I found a big one and a little one. And now because I've got two colours, I've got two big ones, two little ones. Then the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need something to put the flowers and the colourful water in. So I've got two little jars here and I have a jug of water. So now you can pause the video and then come back. All right, are we ready to start? I'm going to first put water in my two jugs. And remember to use two hands and concentrate. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to pour some of our food colouring into our jars. So what we can do is you can pour it into the lid or you can pour it straight into the jar. I'm going to pour it into my lid first. So I've got one cap full and then it goes into the water. Now you might get a bit messy with this, but that's okay, because you can wash your hands, so don't worry about that. So there's our one colour, and I'm going to do it with the green. And you're going to pull, oh dear. You're going to pull very carefully into the lid. And into your jug. Okay, now we're going to take our flowers and we're going to pop them into the colourful water. And then you got to make sure that the, oops, you got to make sure that the stem is in the water. Okay. Yep, stems in there, so the, the, the ends go in here. And then the next step is to leave your flowers overnight on a windowsill. So then if you do it in the morning, then you can play, have lunch, have your nap, come back later, check to see if they've changed colour. But it's best to leave them overnight. So you do it today, you have your sleep, and then tomorrow morning you can look at them. So now I did, I did some yesterday so I could show you guys what it looks like and it was quite interesting so you must tell me what you guys find as well. I found that the red didn't work as well as the green. So look, can you see the little, little flower has gone all, almost all green and the big flower petals have half, half have gone green, half have stayed white. And now I'll show you the red. The red one didn't change the big flower at all. And it turned the white flower pink. So you guys must tell me what colours you use. You must send me photos of your experiment. And you must tell me what you guys find. If you find that some flowers work better than other flowers. Because I've got two different kinds here. And you can see the little one definitely worked better than the big one. Um, and then also if you have different food colorings, which food colorings work best and which ones didn't work so well. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day further and please send me photos of your rainbow flowers when you're done. Bye!